only one who can stop it is you. Be a warrior. Both A Wrinkle in Time and Black Panther have been celebrated for their diversity in front of and behind the camera. But in the battle of the box office this weekend, Ava DuVernay's adaptation of Madeline LaIngle's beloved book came in behind Ryan Coogler's superhero blockbuster. A Wrinkle in Time brought in a muted $33.3 million in North America over its debut weekend, while Black Panther earned $41.1 million, landing both Disney films in the top two spots of the domestic box office. A Wrinkle in Time, which cost $103 million to make before marketing, is the first major miss domestically for Disney since the BFG and Alice Through the Looking Glass in 2016. The movie targeting young girls was hurt by poor word of mouth following mixed reviews and a B cinema score. But Black Panther continued to dazzle, earning one of the best fourth weekends ever. The movie, upping its domestic total to $562 million, is now the number two superhero film of all time, behind only Marvel's The Avengers. Black Panther Panther also bounded past the $1 billion mark at the global box office over the weekend. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. However, Disney's Dave Hollis downplayed the suggestion that A Wrinkle in Time underperformed, saying, With both films, you can see that diverse voices matter and that empowered women matter. He added, In the case of Wrinkle in Time, people want stories about optimism and hope. DuVernay is the first black woman to direct a $100 million movie. In the film, Storm Reid plays the heroine at the heart of the story, 13-year-old Meg Murray, who must find her father and save the universe along the way. The film's star-studded cast also includes Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, and Chris Pine. According to Comscore Screen Engine, A Wrinkle in Time's audience was 17% African American, compared to 37% for Black Panther on opening weekend. Caucasians made up the largest share of the film's audience, 56%, followed by Hispanics with 20%, Asians with 5%, and Native American and other with 3%. Nearly 60% of ticket buyers were female, while a hefty 57% were under the age of 25. For the latest box office, news, head to THR.com and be sure to let me know what you saw in theaters over the weekend in the comments. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.